Welcome to Business Talk. Today, we have a very special guest. He was nicknamed by his friends, the happiness maker. He makes cake that brighten your day anytime. Hello, Mohammed. how are you? Good, and you? Fine, thank you. Tell us about yourself, what you studied. I studied to be an electrical engineer. Electrical engineer? Yeah, and I was one. Oh, okay. Uh, I worked in my career for like um, several years. Then um, the, the, the uh, cooking and baking, it's always been there around. Until I decided to quit my career and job to start this uh, business. And what is your business again? Uh, I'm a bakery man. You're a bakery yeah. and uh, you have Hanahi Bakery. Yes. So what is so special about Hanahi Bakery? Um, I have some um, lines to, to brought out like uh, to come out with the best product with the lowest price. Other thing, uh, here in Hanahi Bakery, we're trying to do our own mixes. We never go with trendy things. Oh. And we do special things. Special flavors. I, I, I can see you have caramel and flour and of chocolate, of course, and, and lemon and so many flavors uh, that I've never seen you know, anything like it in other bakeries. Yep. And I've tried some, and they're incredibly delicious. Thank you. Now, being a woman in Saudi Arabia, I have a lot of friends that bake at home or have their own business. But to have a man do that, how, how has it been for you? Is it rare? Do you feel like it's natural? It's totally natural. <laughs> um, out of Saudi Arabia, like France and these things, these places, uh, uh, either cooking or baking is a hard job considered to be for men. And women just recently come into this field. The baking thing has just come, come to me um, accidentally. Just one recipe jumped into my mind. I went to home, I make it, it was wow. Then I just left everything related to cooking itself and I stick to baking. You found, found your calling. Yes, yes. And when was that? How old were you when that happened? That was like three to four years ago, which I was like 35. Now, with any business, there's always obstacles to overcome. Can you tell us a little bit about the obstacles that you faced? Well, uh, I'm kind of guy who don't believe in obstacles uh, uh, unless it's really obstacle. So uh, whatever I, uh, I've been through, I was expecting it. But the only thing it makes me really feels like um, I'm facing a big problem is the uh, cleaning level. <laughs> any time, any effort that we uh, put into cleaning, it's like nothing. Uh, it's not easy to keep uh, the kitchen clean. Uh, it's not easy to keep uh, the showroom clean, especially with that we here in Jeddah, we have a very dusty weather. Uh, people are coming in and out. So we're always clean and clean and spend money on cleaning, but still it's not uh, yet come to the level that we looking for. Mm -hmm, I see. But what are your future plans for your business? My future plan, as you can see, this uh, piece of cake is, is very handable. Yeah, like uh, you can carry it everywhere, you can eat it everywhere. So I'm trying to make this piece of cake uh, the people's breakfast, to be a lifestyle. I'm trying to get into um, hospitals and um, schools to uh, bring this nice product, which I believe in, which I make my family to eat from, to the schools, to the children, to people everywhere. Because it's really ni a nice, decent piece of uh, dessert, which can easily be your breakfast. Oh, and I can see that you're very passionate about baking, and your friend used to call you happiness maker? Yep. And how did that come about? It's, uh, it's such a like unique one title. One of my friends was uh, eating my cake and said, dude, your cake, bring happiness and you yourself bring happiness and they uh, called me after uh, the happiness maker thank you so much for tuning in with us in our episode today of business talk to stay in touch with more episodes subscribe